sort of seeing games and so on. And then um, some guy, yeah, when we were seeing live games, some guy it sort of commented, uh, in all the Chess24 and uh, Chess Bomb, there will be guys who will be commenting, right? Not, uh, not the grandmasters, but uh, I mean, we don't know who they are, but in the anonymous name, they will be commenting. And one comment popped up when Anand is sitting in his laptop. I am there, Liko is there, other seconds are there. Right? Some guy goes on. Uh, I went to doctor yesterday and doc I was having some high blood pressure and heart problem. Doctor prescribed me to go through Peter Liko's skin for you know, keeping the blood pressure. <laughs> 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 so Paul <laughs> Liko was laughing so much. <laughs> so after giving you such shock with that game, now this game was very important. This game was very important for me. Uh, this was this was my last game, uh, in fact, before coming here. So this was last round of uh, Asian Championship, which uh, Sefu Raman won, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a very strange situation. So after eight rounds, there were two players on six and a half points leading. That is Chinese Wei Yi and Lei Kuang Liam. And then of six points, there was Sefu Raman, and there were a bunch of players on five and a half. I was one of them. Sefu was black against Wei Yi on top board, and I was afloated to Lei Kuang Lian as black on the second board. It happened so that both of us won, and it was very important that I win. I mean, Sefu defeated Wei Yi, but even then he was not coming first unless I win this game. So it was very good for India because uh, both in open section and women's section, India got gold. And I wish I had more time because I would love to show Setu's game also. That was also a brilliant game. Uh, what was the controversy about banging the pieces? Or something? Oh, but this was not connected with Asian Championship. This oh, happened in the Premier League. league. Uh, but this is just hyped up. I mean, <laughs> both the players, they don't have any problem. I mean, uh, this happened with Setu Raman against Ab Abhijit Gupta. Abhijit Gupta is cool with it. Setu is cool with it. Other players are just shouting, you know, like, I understand it's a stupid rule. I mean, what, I, I, I won a game in uh, Asian indoor games. I was playing this guy, Elshan Moradiyabadi from Iran. Rook e2, f4. And he plays king h3, rook h1, rook h2. There's nothing I can do about it. Also a draw. So, very luckily after h3, I had rook e1, threatening gh3, he cannot take hg4 because it's a mate. And once he plays h4, now I can finally take his pawn because there is no rook f4, I have e5. Otherwise I take and I'll, I'll win this eventually because he's, this pawn is strong but his king is also blocking this pawn, so this is not going very far. Yeah, this is probably his best try. I mean, I, I think, no, his problem was he probably would have played this, but after the game he told me uh, he missed rook d1 in the other variation. That's the reason he did not take here. So he thought, uh, he thought after king takes h5, I'll play king d7. And as we saw in that variation after rook d2 check king e4, he missed rook d1. So anyways, he also came up with some very interesting idea. Now that, uh, I mean, eventually I have to bring my king, right? So he forgets this pawn for the moment, and he targets this guy. So now his point is whenever I play king d7, he'll play king f7 and attach, my, I mean, he'll make sure my king is unable to move. I played a3, he stays back. So first thing is, now that knight is moved from e7, why can't I do the same? So let's say I do this. Now, the first advantage of a4 is there will be no king e7, there is always bishop a3 check. That's the main point, actually. And now if he plays this, I can take here, and I can debate that now if he takes, 
I can play h7 and he does not have rook g8 like in the previous variation. However, now he can take, instead of taking the queen, he can take this potential pawn, attacking my queen and attacking my rook. Right? And I get into the similar situation where I have to take his rook, he takes my queen, and again it's very difficult to judge. This was not my intention. Because if this is what I wanted, then I could have done this in the previous move without including f4. So my point of a4 was that if he plays knight f5, which is what I was expecting, now to play g4. Thank so you very much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so next thing we're going to do, the fancy title for what we're going to do here is the opening ceremony of the Asian International.